Hello, I'm Benjamin, sous chef at King Estate Winery, and it is my pleasure to demonstrate our recipe for our date and apple cider sauce. We're very fortunate to have uh, uh, apple orchards here at King Estate Winery. Um, we harvest Brayburn apples, Gala apples, and Golden Delicious, and they make wonderful ciders. And we like to uh, exhibit those ciders in different sauces throughout the year. And you can also find the, uh, the apple cider available in our restaurant by the glass. It's real delicious, come check it out. The ingredients for this recipe are rather simple. We have two tablespoons of an olive oil blend, a half of a medium yellow onion, julienne, a third of a cup of medjool dates that have been pitted and chopped, two tablespoons of organic apple cider vinegar, a cup of organic apple cider. If you live in the Pacific Northwest, you should be about a stone's throw away from some very delicious organic apple cider, a quarter cup of chicken stock, and about a tablespoon of butter that'll help smooth it all out. Um, you can buy a, a conventional chicken stock at, at the supermarket, or you can find a meat market that probably has a little higher quality uh, a, a brown chicken stock or, or, or chicken broth. A few pieces of equipment that are helpful to have for this recipe, um, not necessary, but helpful, helpful to have. We have a heavy bottom sauce pot to help things cook more evenly. A cone-shaped fine mesh uh, colander, also known as a chinois and a handheld immersion blender. But with this recipe, you could totally just use a household blender. It works just the same. Um, but for my application today, I will be using an immersion blender. The so first step to this recipe, two tablespoons of olive oil in your heavy bottom sauce pot, and a half a medium onion, julienne. And then what you're gonna do is you're going to sweat the onions in the olive oil. Um, to sweat a vegetable means to cook it slowly in order to soften it without browning it. Um, what this will do, it will help uh, get rid of the sulfur flavor in the onions. It will make it um, buttery and, and, and sweet and um, a little more delicate, a little silkier. The onions are just about done here. As you can see, they're, getting a, they're get, becoming translucent. Um, they're very soft, very tender. And that strong onion aroma is gone. Now that the onions are sweated, it is time to add the dates. From here, we're going to simmer the dates and the onions together to incorporate the flavors, um, the rich honey flavor of the dates and the lovely garden flavor of the onions. From here, we're going to add the two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, one cup of organic apple cider, quarter cup chicken stock. And then put back on the heat and you're going to want to simmer that for about 10 minutes. You're going to uh, use your handy immersion blender or put in your conventional household blender. It works, I like to say again, it works just the same. So after my mixture is well blended, Going to add roughly one tablespoon of butter. And then you're going to continue to blend. The reason for the butter is to help smooth out and balance the acids in the apple cider vinegar and the apple cider. At this point, we're going to pass the sauce through our chinois. If a chinois is unavailable, you can use any sort of uh, mesh sieve you have in the household. So we get the sauce into the sieve. I'm just going to help pass it through a little bit. And your end result is two cups of date and cider sauce. Um, it goes wonderful with salmon. It goes great with pork and butternut squash. It goes wonderful and we've had it on our menu in the past with albacore and, and greens and, and hazelnut gremolata. Apples and Pinot Gris go together, go together famously. In the case of our domain Pinot Gris, the grapes are grown not too far from the apples, so it becomes a very natural pairing. This sauce and its applications allow for uh, Pinot Gris to bridge with some uh, autumn harvest flavors. So you keep domain Pinot Gris in your consideration for your holiday plans.